Welcome back to Friday Night Football, the Jamboree edition. We've covered some serious ground so far, Molly, but still not done with the Thursday night replays just yet. Acadia and Vermilion Parishes teamed up for what was supposed to be a two-night event, but around here you just got to play it safe when it comes to possible rain. So Kaplan decided to move part two to Thursday as well. First up at Kaplan Church Point in North, North Vermilion. Both teams hoping to get off to better starts than last year. First half, the Bears on the move, but QB Braylon Jones fumbles the snap and Tyler Plaisance Johnny on the spot scoops it up and is off to the races. 56 yards for the TD. Missed point after though made it six nothing. Patriots Church Point would answer. They go on a long drive, capped off with Ronnie Dupuy taking the pill up the gut, breaking a few tackles and in for the seven yard score. Then it was seven to six, but Church Point goes on to win it 15 to 12, the final in that one. Kaplan and Lake Arthur in the nightcap of the Vermilion Acadia Parish Jamboree, and the Pirates came out guns a blazing. Mac Tebow, you're going to see a lot of that this year. Works his way outside, finds his way to the end zone. Two point conversion made it 8 0 Pirates. After Lake Arthur punt, the Pirates take to the air. Trey Case finds Braylon Romero with the swing pass. That's money. Another two point conversion makes it 16 0 Kaplan. Pirates defense giving up nothing. Another forced punt leads to, you guessed it, another TD. This time it's Case with the pump fake watch and barrel over a few defenders. 20 0 Kaplan at the calf. Kaplan goes on to win it 29 to nothing. And did you think we were done with Friday games? Not, uh, not just yet. Over in Evangeline Parish, they held their jamboree tonight in Basil. And it was the first game of the night was Bill Platt and Mamou early in the first half. The Bulldogs' Jason Duchette scores in the red zone to put Bill Platt up 7-0. Later in the half, quarterback Brandon Veazey lets it go deep downfield to Cabrian Ardwin, who makes a miraculous grab. Look at the beautiful grab there. And takes it into the end zone to put up Bill Platt up 13-0. Later on, Mamou responds with a circus catch of its own when Landon Desertel Hits McCrine Jack and they would punch it in. They were making it 13 to 6, but Bill Platt runs away with it thanks to Alicia Charles, and he can't go anywhere, so he reverses field and almost takes it to the house before getting tripped up inside the 10. Bill Platt is going to go on to win it 13 to 6. Pine Prairie Basil diving uh, first play is going to be a diving interception in the first half by Isaiah Payne. It was a defensive struggle and to close. Out the half, Brazil drives down the field only to have the ball taken away in the end zone by Isaiah Payne. The defense, the defense would prevail, and the final is 0-0. Of course, there were many jamborees outside of Acadiana this week. Jennings headed west to Sulphur for the Ville Navarre spot jamboree. The Bulldogs beat Sam Houston in the jamboree last year. The rematch going much differently. Cole Myers drops back, feeling the pressure, but in comes Devin McGee. Expected to be a big part of that Bronco defense. That'll stop the drive. This one was a defensive battle throughout Dustin Jackson, starting at quarterback for the Bronx. Still adjusting to the offense. Play action takes a shot, but... Rusty Phelps loves his secondary, just like the game we just showed you. That's another 0-0 final score, believe it or not. Some defensive showcases going on tonight. Also in Sulphur, Welsh playing up in class versus the Washington Marion Indians. And the Greyhounds looking the part. Zach Hayes dumps it off to Darian Zeno. The wide receiver gets it down to the red zone. That steps up Pierce Meagle, another D1 recruit. Hayes and company not done yet. 13 to nothing, Welsh tops Washington Marion. A couple of scores to get to. Elton falling to Lake Charles Prep, 15 to 6. And of course, that's all the action from this week. There's been plenty of great plays, but we can only show you one fastest play of the day the presenting by Hidden Speed Academy. And this week, it's courtesy of Karen Crow. Look at linebacker Kelvandre Abair go on the pick six to pay dirt. Pick that six, is you're your, thinking fast too. You're thinking fast. It's a fast play, it's Running a fast, fast quick six. Yeah, well done. And it's all good. So, and the only points in that game. So and good for points, him. And that yeah. was the winning score in that one. So that's it for Friday Night Football. For Molly, I'm Thank Seth. You. We'll see you next week for the start of the regular season. Have a good night.